Okay, welcome to this short video tutorial. In this one we are going to set your domain name servers, the DNS settings for your uh, domain. If you registered for, through GoDaddy, um, you want to go to GoDaddy.com and you want to log in. And once you log in, the screen should look like this. If you created an account with a different domain provider such as Namecheap or any other domain service provider, uh, just get with them. They've all got awesome support including GoDaddy here which can help you uh, point the domain name servers. So um, what we want to do is once you get logged into your account just put your mouse over the domains and then on the right hand side here you're going to see domain management. Okay, And then in the search your domains category here you can type your domain name or it should be listed below in the bottom below here. Um, if you've only got one domain you can just click on the domain name and go to it but since you, if you've got multiple domains you might want to just search it and then just click the OK button and then it will appear right here and as you remember when we set up our hosting account we we set up the domain uh, we told HostGator uh, this domain well I did this <laughs> yours is going to be different so then just click manage domain and your page should look like this. Now don't get overwhelmed with what it looks like, just uh, go right to this section right here, name servers, okay? Name servers. Click on set name servers. Okay, once this window pops open, you're going to want to look at this fourth option here. I have specific name servers for my domain, okay? So click the fourth radio button here, and then these two fields that open up, just get rid of the information in there. If they're already empty, that's fine. You don't need any. Just make sure they're empty. Now let's go to our email account. And in the last video, when we set up our hosting account, this email came out. So you want to look in the email where it says your name server. So you want to highlight the first name server. And then you want to copy it. Then go back to GoDaddy. In this first name server one, you want to paste it. So there we go. Now in the second one, let's go back to the email. Highlight this, the second one. Copy it. And then again back in GoDaddy here, in the second name server, you're going to want to paste that one. So there we go. We got the two different ones. Now I just say OK. Your changes have been submitted. Now please allow time for them to uh, take effect. So you want to say OK again. And then that's it. So now what's going to happen here is in a, in a few minutes this name server section here will update. So I'm just going to click the go button right up here and let's just see if GoDaddy has updated it. Ah, okay so there's no name servers on file. So what it's doing is it's is it's removing its parked domain servers and it's going to update it with the current ones. There we go. Name server, see, name servers are HostGator. So now that's all you have to do inside of GoDaddy. Your name servers are now pointed. Please allow up to 24 hours for the propagation 